Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, in this demo, I'm going to show you demonstration of our online medicine search project and again we have uh, like uh, the same J2 heap application. So it's a web application first thing and we are going to demonstrate the JSP and Sublet application here. So if I talk about the technical details about the project, it's you following the MSC architecture. You can see in the Beam controller exception model and utility package over there. To manage the front ends using JSP, under the JSP, it will use HTML, CSS, and um, uh, for the backend purpose, it's using servlets. Application is following the MVC architecture, also, it's using Maven, so we are managing the dependencies here and it's deployed over the Tomcat server. So, to run the application, just right click on the application, go to run it, run on the server, select this Tomcat server at point five, click on finish, automatically application will launch over your Chrome browser. From the backend side, it's using MySQL. Okay, so here we have a table, so user table, user order, payment, medicines, tables are there. So now, uh, Okay, first understand what are the user roles into this application. So we have a two types of role. Uh, first, will, first will be admin and second will be customer or you can say the users. So this will be my username and this will be my password. So I'm going to enter the username and the password to log in as an admin and then check what admin can do over there. <clears throat> uh, before that, we have a home page, login and registration over there. So when I logged in as an admin, I can see many options are there. So first is a user model. So here under the user model, what I can do as an admin, I can uh, update, uh, like I can add a new user. I can check the list of users. I can edit the records. I can delete the records. I can search the record. Let's suppose I want to search record by username. So I want to search this user. I just enter the username, click on search button, and will filter the data. Again, I reset the same. Another important module here is a medicine module. Under this module, what we are doing, uh, we are adding the medicine. Let's suppose I need to add any medicine as I admin or shopkeeper. So I just enter the medicine company name, medicine name, and the quantity. And click on the save, the data will be saved and it will display here. <coughs> you can see here. Or also, I can search the medicine by its name. So I just enter the medicine name, I enter the search button, and Let's filter the data. I can decide it as I admin. I can edit the record. I suppose I want to update the quantity. So I just update the quantity as a 300. And now if I check that list, it's updated as a 300. Also, I can delete by clicking on this button. Okay, uh, if I click on the medicine booking, I can check the list as an admin. I can check the list of uh, booking history here and the quantity, uh, medicine name quantity and the total price of the quantity and another thing we have as an admin that is payment history page so here uh, as an admin i can check the order id customer card number and the like payment history so the most important thing and now we are going to register as a user uh, i'm going to log into the application and i'm going to book up medicine so we have we are going to use an existing user or we can register as a new user as well so i just quick enter the username password and registered by this user and this is my username so i just logged in there and uh, if i refresh the table the newly registered user is available here so this is the password for that user so i'm going to copy this same password going to log in here when i click the sign in button it will enter me into the application so under the medicine section i can check the available medicines so now let's suppose i want to book this medicine and current quantity is 600 so if i book some quantity from this it will be automatically decreased so if i book here uh, let's suppose i want to book a 50 medicine and the previous quantity was 600 and after uh, out of 600 i have uh, booked 50 so if i check the medicine list now the remaining is 550 also uh, uh, apart from the booking we have other option here i can search medicine by a name that is the work like this i just entered the medicine name in the search button and decided so again uh, the most important is the validation so where we whenever we are going to book any medicine automatically the quantity will, quantity will be decreased 
Now, under the booking section, if I see the 50 quantity for this medicine name is available and the total cost is 3700. So, cost, uh, cost is calculating dynamically from the back end. And uh, if I check the payment history now, it's showing nothing. So, if I book it, I just click on the pay, I just enter my card detail and I pay and I just paid the payment successfully. Now, in the payment history, the record will be displayed. Now, if I move again into the booking section, I can see the, the payment is paid. So, it means uh, the status is updated and it's paid now. Uh, so, I can't pay it again. Now, uh, we have paid a uh, 3700 uh, amount for the 50 quantity of the medicine in this. So, now admin can check this detail as well. So, I again going to log in as an admin, go to sign in. And if I check the booking history, you can check the 12th record and the 12th record this medicine is booked as a quantity 50 and this is the payment and I check the payment history I can check the record here as well so that's all about the medicine search booking and this is also a minor project and just being served so in case you need the source code you can connect us over the whatsapp gmail or uh, you can connect us over the whatsapp gmail or uh, you can Skype us and don't worry about the setup and the configuration. We have a remote team, they are completely available to support you and run the project at your machine. Then we'll set called do the configuration, complete configuration at your machine and run the project and it will work same as source in the de demo. Apart from the source code, we have multiple services like uh, remote configurations, there's project explanations are there if you are preparing for the Viva. Uh, you can join the zoom session so different services are there so for the pricing and the timing and the schedules and availability you can connect there and uh, just ask to the support they will provide the complete detail with you thank you